right, guys. 31-17. We lost. That sucks. Uh, but, come on, how can you not be proud of this team? I don't ever wear jerseys and stuff like that. Uh, you know, I have the paraphernalia around here. But I want to be a good evaluator. I don't try to fan out and lead you guys down paths that uh, aren't true because all the fandom eventually collapses and it's like a sugar high. But I am a pretty good evaluator. I called this week. I called a lot of stuff contrary to what a lot of people said. And so you can believe me when I say to you, I am super proud of this team. There's a lot of good to take from this team that will transport down the road. It doesn't mean we're going to win a Super Bowl. But man, how can you not be proud of this team? How can you not be excited? And it wasn't the refs. You know, the, the, a lot of these people, these media types are going to start, talk about the ref, talk about the ref, talk about the ref. Yeah, there was a tackle on, uh, on long, clear, clear. And the face mask was clear. But it was clearly a hold, uh, pass interference by Apple on the third down on Brown. And Kelsey had two hands on the ground. He said one of those hands was from the guard. These refs suck. That's, a, that's the only thing that you should really understand is the mercurial nature of football because these refs suck. But we didn't lose because of the refs. I mean, it definitely went mm, to Eagles' way a little bit. But, you know, some people say, 10 penalties. All I hear is 10 penalties to no penalties. No, it was 12 penalties to two penalties, two offsetting. Jackson and uh, some D-linemen got into it, and then Kelsey with the hands in the ground was negated because there was a... a, a Offsides by our defense. But even when you take away those, the two there, the, the head hold and the face mask, we had loads of penalties. We opened up the first drive with a delay of game. And then we had a timeout with six, six seconds, nine seconds before the third ended. So we were sloppy. And yeah, maybe it went a little bit this way. But guys, it's bad. This is some of the worst officiating I've ever seen is this year. And it's just going to be that way. Sometimes it goes for us. Sometimes it doesn't. But we didn't lose because of the refs. Now, you want to go down that route? That's fine. It feels good. Doesn't mean you're going to come to a good evaluation. Now, I got uh, Adam Beasley over here. Uh, you can see, let's be honest, the Eagles physically didn't beat the Dolphins. The Dolphins had the ball with a chance to tie and self-destructed. That's one take. I don't know if it's accurate. Uh, but here's an accurate take from Dave Hyde, who I love this guy. Really, really good guy. I'd like to meet him. I really would. Uh, McDaniel has done a great job this year masking some offensive line issues without Teron and Connor Williams. Tough to hide issues against a line like Philly. That's good evaluation. Check my podcast from all the way through the week up until this week. I pretty much called the game. Wasn't hot to trot. What was hot to trot is, ah, Jackson's so awesome. You're hating on him. Ah, Wynn's so great. You're hating on him. Our offensive line's fine. Look what Eichenberg did against Connor. He's going to do the same this week. That's the hot to trot stuff, but it's low accuracy. Now, if we had Connor in there and Tehran in there, we could have won. And it's going to change things. But we have line issues, clearly. But we did enough to mask it and to hide it and put ourselves in position to nearly take this one. That's great news. Tua, you know, to me, this is one of his best days ever. He was under the gun. A lot of things him and McDaniel want to do. They were held down. And he did a great job. Made some big plays. Was smart. And then Hill is a stud of studs. Be excited about Tua and Hill, they'll be together for a while with Waddle and the Chosen and Berrios and Claypool. This is great. And you can see what they can do even when they're hamstrung with a disastrous O-line against a great front. Be proud of that. Don't go down the road of if Wynn was in. Somebody was saying if Wynn was in. Wynn's, I told you, Wynn suffers from power and it's the beginning of the season. If he's in that uh, uh, pit hole over there too long, he's going to get hurt. He always does. Ah, uh, you know, you're talking about you're a hater. Well, here we go. Another evaluation that's that's right. But my evaluation is also, you put Teron and, and Connor in there, and we can still do all kinds of stuff and still to go to the Super Bowl. Two is a good player. Great player, maybe. Darn best player we've had at quarterback since Marino, right? 
And Fangio, remember everybody told you, Fangio, Fangio sucks, this defense sucks. I said, be patient, be patient after week one. It's going to get better, it's going to get better. Dude, look what he did without Exxon. What do you think is going to happen with Ramsey gets in there and Needham gets in there and Howard gets back and, you know, some of these guys are getting better in the system. He had some great calls today and did an amazing job with his hand tied behind his back. We didn't get beat physically and we were beaten by the refs. Then I guess the 36 uh, minute, 36, 43 time possession to 23, 17 uh, Dolphins. Uh, you know, that's just a side note. 26 first downs to 12 first downs. Side note. In fact, that we got 45 yards in rushing. Side note. No, it's the refs. And it, we weren't pushed around physically. We had a chance and it was a penalties. Penalties hurt us. The ref thing hurt us a little bit too. But... We didn't have Tehran. We didn't have Connor. They dominated the old line. And even still, we would take advantage of the lack of Blankenship. But it came down to us being dominated on the offense. So how many times, go back and watch the film, guys just blown back on the offense. That's, you're not supposed to go forward, not backwards. Some of our tight ends missed blocks. That's the reality. But the reality is this team showed a ton, guys. We go against the Patriots. We go against the Chiefs. Beat both of them. Number one in the AFC East. Number one in the AFC. Nobody thinks about the Eagles. Getting all these guys back. Probably going to lose some more too, but you know what I mean. Good team. We're going to be in it. It's going to be exciting. Don't fall under the hype that it's the refs that beat us. And uh, if it was all about injuries, blanket ship was in, you would have seen something different. They played those safeties so far off that open stuff up, it would have been different. I think if we were in our house and we had Connor and Tehran, probably would have won. It's great. Be positive about that. Be excited. We had the better coaches. Uh, Hill and Tua are exceptional. Our D front is exceptional, managing going against that beast offensive line and holding them to 70 yards on the ground. Although their scheme sucks, Eagle scheme sucks. They had bad DBs, one good DB, the rest of them were like nobodies and they had no safeties. Uh, strong OL was the main part. Good D, uh, receiver group. Our DBs were weak, but that's going to get Ramsey back. You're going to get Howard back. He probably won't be 100%. But we were sloppy, and that hurts too. But this was a tough game, and a lot should be taken out of it. The film's going to say a ton this week, and I can't wait to do it. A lot of positives, but a lot of sobering realities. Win will be destroyed on power. But we're not going to, you know, uh, Jackson's going to be destroyed on power. Lamb's going to be destroyed on power. Eichenberg's going to be destroyed on power. But we're not going to see a front like this. Not for the rest of the season, I don't think. I mean, but it's different matchups, you know, you have to understand. And then, again, Connor. Well, people don't like now that the value of Tehran is coming up, well, despite what people are saying, and Tehran, the value is coming up despite Tehran who. We'll get these guys back. We're going to be in the game. We're really in the game. It's not hype. I'm the Grinch of the Miami Dolphins coverage. I tell you things you don't want to hear. I tell you that so you believe me when I tell you the good stuff. But we got to evaluate week to week. This Patriots game is not going to be as easy as you think depending on injuries and who shows up and who they got and matchups. But I think we're going to take them, and then we go to the Chiefs game as a next big evaluation for the ceiling. Let's see how it plays out. But when you see what we did in this Eagles game, that should sure make you quite excited about the rest of the season. So I just want to get this thing out quick. Don't follow the hype if you want, but it's not going to lead you to good evaluations. It's not, but it's fun for a little while. So I'm very proud of my team. Very happy. Guys, as Curtis saying, catch you next time. Be well. Go Fins. Start building your own online sports book today by getting signed up with acebred.com service that allow you to book action on sports from all around the world.